I hope everyone is doing fine. I just got this in the mail. It's the Black Mist Quarter Diffusion Filter by KNF Concept. Full disclosure, KNF did send me this filter and they told me to keep it. However, I will be giving you my honest opinion of what I think about the filter. So let's first talk about the build quality. Looking at the filter, I think it's definitely built from aluminium. It has these grooves on the side of it to easily screw and unscrew because you have this sense of grip on the filter. Unlike some filters that don't even have any grooves, that will be a lot harder to unscrew, but this this filter does come with these grooves and I find it really helpful whenever it gets a little bit stuck. It's still quite manageable to unscrew the filter. Anyway, all in all, in terms of build quality, I don't really have any complaints. In terms of packaging, I wish that they did send me the circular kind of box that did protect the filter because I do find square filters can be a little bit bulky. Also, I did see some YouTubers having some magnetic caps, but I don't know whether this is the same package or whatever it is. So anyway, I did wish that I did have those sort of things as well but all in all no complaints build quality is top notch right so i'm going to show you some quick tests using this filter So what's my conclusion? What do I think about this filter? I think to me, having such a filter like this is quite important for any photographer or videographer for that matter, as I feel there are definitely times when these sort of filters will come in handy. In particular, I love how the filter really blooms highlights in the frame. It really does give an atmospheric feel that makes your pictures or your videos look more cinematic by cutting down the clarity and sharpness of images captured by your camera sensors. Oftentimes, digital cameras can look a little bit sharp, so this filter Filter does cut down on the sharpness just a little bit. I do think however it is in a quiet taste so if you don't really like softer and dreamy like images in general then you may not really want to get this filter. But for me at its price I don't find any harm in owning one just to have that kind of look whenever you do want to get that sort of look. Also do bear in mind to get the maximum effect of this filter you really need to be shooting in good kind of light especially with strong backlight because that will cause the blooming to look more obvious and yeah I did try it in low light and you don't really see the effect in low light so that's something worth bearing in mind every time you use this filter right then so that's it then for my KNF black promise filter review I hope you did find this review helpful and useful and if you did please don't forget to give me a like comment and subscribe also if you would like to support this channel by making a small contribution I did leave a link to buy me a coffee in the description down below also I did left links to all the gears that I use to make these videos right then I guess that's it Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.